The Daily Stoic. Blow your own nose. We cry, God Almighty, how can we escape this agony? Fool, don't you have hands? Or could it be God forgot to give you a pair? Sit and pray your nose doesn't run. Or rather, just wipe your nose and stop seeking a scapegoat. End quote. The world is unfair. The game is rigged. So-and-so has it out for you. Maybe these theories are true, but particularly speaking, for the right here and now, what good are they to you? That government report or that sympathetic article from the news, is it going to pay the bills or rehab your broken leg or find the bridge loan that you need? Succumbing to the self-pity and the woe it's me narrative accomplishes nothing. Nothing except sapping you of energy and motivation you need to do something about your problem. We have a choice. Do we focus on the ways we have been wrong or do we use what we've been given and get to work? Will we wait for someone to save us or will we listen to Marcus Aurelius' empowering call to get active in your own rescue? If you care for yourself at all, and do it while you can. That's better than just blowing your own nose, which is a step forward in itself. That's empowering, guys. And I want you to take that and move forward in your daily interaction. Stop attempting to look for scapegoats. The game is rigged and so-and-so said this and let's say that's all right. What are you going to do about it now? What are you going to do? Succumb to the self-pity, the woe it's me narrative? Where does that get you? Okay, the problem has been identified allegedly. Now it's time for you to get busy and get to work. So, so what? Is complaining going to get you the loan? Example, early on in my investment career, I had issues trying to get lenders to actually approve me to utilize the rental income towards my debt to income ratio. So this did not help when I wanted to purchase a property at a higher value. I put in one application, denied. Put in another application, denied. Justification, oh well, you don't have any history of being a landlord, roger that. Put in another application, Denied the next lender. Denied the next lender. Denied. I placed over 30 applications and found two lenders at the end of them. That said, no problem. Let me underwrite this deal and let's proceed. After I had that relationship with these lenders, I continued to build upon them. Now, I could have been stuck off the first 10 lenders that did not grant me the opportunity to utilize the rental income to underwrite the property. But I decided, what else am I going to do? Succumb to the difficulties, the minor obstacles that were placed in my way? Or was I going to focus on getting paid? Was I going to focus on my end goal and not the obstacles? That's what you have to ask yourself. And apply this as it may to your own daily interactions of what you are going to do. The Daily Stoic. Shout outs to everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Take control of your life. We all we got at the end.